Okay guys, uh, I have got three eyeshadow palettes from Jolie Beauty to review today. Uh, one of them is bomb.com, which is all glitter, some of which I'm wearing today. Um, and then I've got Pride, which I got because it's got a variety of colors. And lastly, but definitely not least, I've got um, Interstellar, which is one that I have really, really been wanting to try. Um, it is so... And I keep saying Interstellar. I think it's because of the movie. Intergalactic. I'm an idiot. And I just looked at this. Um, look at this case. Look at how beautiful it is. Um, so I'm going to open it, review them, swatch them. This time I'm going to have Josh help me swatch them because as you guys know, I only have one leg free and that leg is not very nice to look at. So I, um, I don't want to swatch all of these on that, on that leg. So he's going to loan me his arm and I'm going to swatch the colors on his arm and see how that goes and um, see what you guys think. We're going to start with bomb.com and Josh has been so kind as to shave his hand for us today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here and I'm going to swatch across. I know other people probably do it down, but I do my swatches this way. So um, I will name the colors and we'll see if I can fit them on his hand. I'm not sure if I have enough space, but I will try. So the first one is going to be Lagoon, which is this dark blue glitter. I'll just um, keep the camera right here. I'm not grabbing too much because I don't want to waste all the product doing a swatch. But that's enough that you can see. This one is called Steel. Ooh, I grabbed a lot on that one. And then is this Coco. Coco is a brown color I'll probably never use. My days of brown makeup are long done. Uh, this is Princess, which is a very bubblegummy color. Let me move that over a little bit. That's super pretty. This is Ballet. Well, it's like a kind of salmon color. And lastly in this row is sugar. And I, I like the silvery white ones because I put these on my brow. So that's row one. This one is Ignite. And that's my favorite. It's red. This is Mermaid. Which the names are, are very fitting because that's mermaid. They they do kind of suit. Though this reminds me of bubblegum. 
Princess Bubblegum. <laughs> um, this is Firefly. So I wouldn't normally swatch it like this because when I use glitter, I just dab it and I, I touch it like this to my eyelid, which is over the eyeshadow. So then of course you can see it better. This is Infinity. I don't think I'm gonna have enough room on your hand. There's only row two. This is Showgirl. Ooh, that's bright. This is Crowned. And that's the last of that row. I do think, you can flip your hand. I do think that they should have done the um, the coloring of the names in a different color. Uh, Cause you can't, you can see it on camera, but in real life you really can't read the name colors very well, like hardly at all. Those are two rows, flip over. Let's try this. Um, this one is Swell. And that color is so swell. <laughs> I'm stupid. This is Amazon. See, in the pan, it's emerald green, but here it looks kind of like a poop green, like a mold green. Uh, this is Regal. That was very pretty. This is Cherry Bomb. And that's a... Uh, In the pan, it doesn't look as red as it does on the flesh, but that's like a a purplish red, I guess. Um, this is Superstar. And this is Golden Ticket. The last row, this is Seabed. I was quite happy that these had so many blues because I haven't been able to wear blue makeup because I don't really have the blue to go with it. Uh, this is Zest. Ooh, that's pretty. This is Disco, which is probably my favorite in the whole pan. This is like a holographic. Very, very pretty silver. This is Rosy, which is like a pinky, coppery color. Uh, this is Blossom, which didn't come out at all. It's that part of the hand, it's hard to stick to. There you go. And lastly, this is Gesturally. And it's just like a gold color. So, that's the second row. Now, my thoughts on this, it's kind of weird. Um, the glitter in the in the eyeshadow is very similar to this. I thought this was going to be exactly the same, but as I'm trying to swatch it, say if I go to grab this color, it's very grainy and flaky. It just the other ones come with, let's see like you can see it here especially. The other ones they've got adhesive in it, so you don't need to add an adhesive. You just you know, take a little swatch, a little dab, and then you dab it onto your eyes or whatever, and you don't need any other product. But this right here, this palette, feels like you would need a product because it it's very... Sorry for the ugly fingernail. I only painted one hand. Uh, it's very loose and grainy and not like the ones that come in the eyeshadow palettes themselves. So I don't know how happy I am with this. I'm happy because there's different colors, but I'm not really happy with the quality of this compared to when they're in included with the eyeshadows themselves. Now let me move on to the next palette. Here is the next palette. This one is called Proud and it's dirty because I touched it when I had makeup on my hands and I can't wipe it off. So just be aware that the outside of this one holds dirt and makeup really, really well. Um, but this one does not come with a mirror, which is normally unfortunate, but I don't use the mirrors anyway, so I don't mind. And it just gives me something less to have to worry about reflecting in my ugly face when I don't have makeup on. But, uh, I had wanted this one because, um, again, it's, it's got 
the different colors and it's got some blues and the other palettes don't really have blue. As you can see, it's got um, glitters down here. So these are the names of these ones. And I will admit, I don't know who half of these people are that it's named after. Um, but that's okay because, you know, I got it for the colors. I, I didn't get it for any other reason. I don't care if people hate me for that, but it's the truth. <laughs> anyway, he has now prepared both of his arms. So we'll see if this um, makes it any easier. And again, I will go straight across and straight across. So I will do two rows per hand. So this one is the graphs which I don't know what that means. And this is like a beautiful maroon color. I like that color. This is Elton. Of course, that'll be Elton John. This is Ian. I have no idea who Ian is. <laughs> this is Julia. I have no idea who Julia is. This is Alec. I love this one because it's shimmery. It's like a shimmery, at least in the pan. Where is it? It's like a shimmery. Alec, Alec, I don't know who that is. Nadia, I also don't know who that is. Ruby, and I don't know who that is either. I suck, I know. Uh, Jeffrey, obviously, that is Jeffrey Star. Graham, I don't know who that is. Ellen, obviously, it's Ellen. Ooh, that is pretty. Miley, Miley Cyrus. I'm gurgling now. Uh, Kath, I don't know who Kath is. That is pretty though. Compare Kath to Ian. That's a more vibrant, sunshiny yellow. This is Gok, I guess. G O K, I don't know who that is. Um, Bowie, of course, David Bowie, and that is a beautiful red. So that is the first two rows. Let me see your other hand. Okay, and so this is going to be Freddie. It will be Freddie Mercury. Mercury? 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 <laughs> this is Kelly. I don't know who Kelly is. That's Kelly Osborne or not, but it's not spelled the same. This is Paul. I don't know who Paul is. It's like a weird flesh yellow color. Um, Caitlin, I'm assuming this is Caitlyn Jenner. Lady Phil, I don't know who that is. Um, Cara, that's that Cara, do, I can't pronounce her name, but she's that really pretty actress. Um, Steven, I don't know who that is. This, this video part here is just about my ignorance, apparently. Uh, Alright, this is these are the um, glitters now. So this is Freedom, which is another red glitter. Um, this is Inclusion, which is really pretty. This, is, uh, this glitter is different. It's bigger. It's bigger particles than these ones are made of. Um, this is Unity, which is gold. This is Acceptance, which is that green again. This is Strength, which is a multicolored blue, which is actually really pretty. Um, this is Expression, which is a beautiful dark purple. It's not really, they're not really sticking this time. And this is love, which is pink. Let me try to get a bigger, there. You have to push quite hard to get it solid. I just don't want to waste that much by pushing really hard to get a whole lot of product out. Usually what I do is I just do this and then I go and I, I tap it like that over my makeup, just a little bit for a hint of color. And that's plenty. And if you use it like that, in this case, these will last a really long time. But uh, 
So that's that side. These are like kind of the more pastels and these are the richer colors. But um, the colors on this one are very vibrant. I really, really like this palette a lot. And now lastly, we're on to my absolute favorite one. All right, this is the one I was the most excited about. This is the Intergalactic palette. And look at how pretty that is. This is so beautiful. I love, love the case on this one so much. And when you open it up, <laughs> there's Josh. <laughs> look, there's your face. <laughs> I'm not trying to show your face. How do I do this? I can't get your face out of the frame. <laughs> it says, you look out of this world. Okay. And so down here, it has got um, all the colors, which white out spaceship. And I'll read them when I swatch them. But um, this one has also some blues in it, which I was really excited about. And it's got the chameleon colors, um, which I'm guessing are intergalactic and stardust. And the chameleon colors are ones that color shift. And then it's got the glitter shades as well. So I will do like I have been doing. And I will do the top two rows on one hand and then on the other hand. Alrighty. I will grab them a little bit harder this time to give you a better swatch because they don't show up if you just... Eh. Which is what I do. I don't really grab it deeply, and I, I suppose I need to. Got in position. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one's white out, and it's just, you know, your white. This is a glitter one. It's spaceship. This is alien, which is a really pretty green. Yeah, that shows up better. This is intergalactic, which is the chameleon color. Not quite sure what colors it's supposed to change into, but they're pretty anyway. This is antimatter, which is this pretty purple. This is galaxy, which is the glitter shade. This is orbit, which is the blue I was excited about. This is Big Bang, which is that pale yellow color from the other palette. This is Light Year, which is a weird, a weird salmon-y color. This is Parallax. Um, this is Stardust, which is the other chameleon color, which is very, very light. You really can't see it. It's just like a shimmer. That one turns from silver to like a purpley color. Um, this is Rick from Rick and Morty. That's pretty. Uh, this is Zodiac. How the hell am I out of space? <laughs> uh, Zodiac. And lastly, on this row, this is Milky Way. I like Milky Way too. So that is the first two rows. And let's see his other hand. Um, let's scooch this over a little bit. Okay. So this is Supernova, which is the brighter yellow. Um, this is Comet. I like that one. It's like super bright orange. This is Aurora. This is Cosmic. I like that one. That's like a shimmery, uh, hollow kind of color. This is Morty from Rick and Morty. <laughs> this is ultraviolet. Yeah, where do I put this? Put this here. And this is Nebula. I like that. This is Red Dwarf. Sorry, I'm grabbing it hard, so I'm getting chunks. This is Asteroid. Asteroid's not very dark. This is Meteorite, which I do love. That's the green that doesn't look like poop. This is Constellation. 
This is Martian. I like that one. <laughs> um, this is Dark Matter. Oh, that's pretty. And lastly, this is Black Hole. So this is the second half. I don't really like their blacks too much. I don't think the black is as heavily pigmented as it should be. But the, the colors are really nice. It's a huge variety. And the palettes themselves are super pretty. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open all the palettes that I have and put them side by side so you can see all the different colors.